Welcome to another episode of Mike Out, and uh, this time I'm uh, in the forest in the middle of the night, so it's dark. I don't think my camera is uh, the best thing for these conditions, but uh, yeah, what do you do? It's uh, you know, it's my uh, after work thing. In this episode, I thought I might demonstrate how I uh, start a fire with uh, only a uh, knife fire steel and a piece of wood uh, no tinder or uh, anything uh, yeah no no real tinder actually we are going to make tinder out of this piece of wood the preferable way to produce uh, uh, sparks uh, with a fire steel with nothing but a knife is of course to use the spine or the back of the knife uh, you should uh, well, you should really never use the edge, uh, the cutting edge of the knife to uh, uh, scrape sparks from the fire steel because that would make it dull. And uh, you'll have a hell of a time trying to grind it nice again. So the back of the knife uh, is a preferable way to produce sparks if we don't have anything else. And in order to do that, it has to be a 90 degree bevel uh, and pretty coarse. But if you can produce sparks with that, you can also uh, produce very fine dust. Let's see. This is a pretty awkward uh, position here. I will show you how I usually do it. Let's first get this some of this pretty wet bark off you could scrape it like that you know now I have a stone here you should never have a stone uh, below when you make feather sticks because you would you could ram your edge of your nice knife right into the uh, yeah so I'm just going to be careful here not to ram the Ram my knife into this thing, so probably the feather sticks will not be that super. Uh, okay, so what I would usually do when I produced a feather stick like that is to continue by scraping. And uh, scraping, I would use the back of the knife. Uh, once again, I'm doing this. Where there's a stone underneath, which is not so good, and uh, I would not recommend doing that. But you know, I do. I'm trying to make these videos, and you could actually scrape pretty hard, and then you will not produce this fine material that you really want. And uh, yeah. So you want as fine material as possible, obviously. The result is something like that. So here we have our pretty mediocre feather stick. And uh, down here we have uh, the scrape things that would catch the spark from the fire steel. I think this is, yeah, okay. It feels like this is actually pretty wet. So, uh, yeah, well, for demonstration purposes, I think that will do. So, that's the uh, method I prefer to use to start a fire when there's no Tinder Ridley uh, available. Uh, and it's uh, served me pretty well. Um, this piece of wood here is actually, uh, I mean, it's not wet, but it's uh, moist. You know, it's uh, it's Gothenburg. It's like 90% humidity and whatever, in just a few degrees above freezing. So uh, yeah, your your tinder will be wet here, I guarantee. 
the method has uh, served me very well. Uh, I usually always succeed. Um, I guess the uh, the tip is to uh, produce enough enough of this uh, uh, these scrapings that you have something. You know, when you use your fire steel, the, the sparks they land pretty randomly, and uh, you want a big enough pile of your tinder to uh, be able to catch those sparks so they land and you know become nice and warm inside there and start it all up. So the more of the small, uh, the dusty stuff you have, the more readily uh, or easily you will start your fire. So the stick is probably, you know, not your ideal thing. Yeah, well, this has been another episode of Mike Out, and uh, until the next time, this is Mike Out.